Good day all you YouTubers, it's Raven here with uh, another investigative uh, beginner 102 journalism on money and pizza. So uh, if you want to just follow along, I'm going to use some code words here. This uh, big establishment was uh, formed. You already got kind of a list of the people that were on it already. You can see some pretty famous names. I'm not going to go over all of them, but there's uh, quite a few. So then we are going to go up back up to the Federal Reserve and have a look at that. And here we go. Well, you're going to have to do some research on this right here because this is the whole entire basis of the establishment. But uh, so you can hear this, see how this started right here. So it was a trilateral commission, oil cartels, and these guys that started the uh, this establishment and created this. So that's when this project was started in 1947. So uh, right after, and it was top secret. So you know the rules of uh, this whole entire thing. Uh, their aim is this, right here. You can go look that up anywhere. So, and this is what they discuss, anyways. So on with the show. So we're gonna talk about these people right here and what their relationship is. So we went over a little bit that uh, this person here is related to this person and how it is is she's married to this guy and here's the father. So they got married here. She's also there. She works for here and she's a big, biggest uh, uh, supporters of these people or this guy who owns all the media, all of it. This guy, who's just completely a dingbat, they both own this. Uh, this name you'll need to know, and so that's all the people who contributed to there. Also, these people here, who directly funded $1 million in her campaign. So let's go over some of the things that these two clowns have in common, because it's really quite fascinating. Firstly, they both own this. They are both in this. They both did this. They're both on here. They both did this. Uh, yes, this is one he's kind of on his own. I can't find any trail for the other one yet. Um, this guy's on, uh, yeah, this guy's flight log. Uh, this one was invested in uh, the same. And by the way, he has many, obviously, ties to the same location. He owns 40% of Big Pharma. And he's had numerous after he knows. By the way, this clown made $1 billion in one day in 1992. Uh, we went over that last time. He owns all of it. I mean all of it. Yes, related to HRC. So that's the second thing. We're going to talk about the, um, the foundation here because we didn't really go over the actual details too much. So this was their uh, net assets. And so I'm just going to break it down. These are the net money matters. So right here was their total revenue. This is what they spent out in actual grants. So you can see they had all these bullshit fees, but this was the actual reality. They had 70 million in wages and they did a remodel in a hotel. And this is what I want to talk about right here, this school. So they moved six FEMA trailers left over from New Orleans. The trailers were toxic, so poor Haitians had to wait outside. Clinton Foundation basically did nothing. And oh yeah, these people, don't give any more money to them, please. So, because they were involved in that bull F, bullshit. Anyways, carrying on. So this is what actually happened too at the Hillary uh, Foundation there. So you can see that it wasn't very good. Now, I'm just gonna quickly show you this group again so you get a good picture of the overlay here so you can see where your media comes from. Okay, and now this is where your food chain is. Okay, you got that? Who owns those? Oh yeah, those two ass clowns again. Now, I'm gonna talk about the actual incidences and who's related to who around here. So you can see these people get money from here. These people are actually related through this amount of people. So I did a little, there we go. Don't worry about this clown, but she is related to all of these people, which is Bush, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows about this guy, but I bet you didn't know this one. Yes. So we're gonna find out about that in another, another session because I'm really interested in that because he's my favorite guy. So 
Here's another uh, picture I want to show you. So these are actual things that have been found on the internet. Do not watch that. Do not. I know I've seen one second of it and I started crying. Don't. So this is someone you need to pay attention to because this ass clown is now trolling poor Liz from Out of Shadows, leaving pizza comments all over as of yesterday. And his Instagram is full of pedo blah blah blah. He, it's a private account now, so don't even bother getting in. And yes, there is all this stuff. So who is that guy is tied to all of these guys. Mm -hmm. So again, here's the relationship with all of these people, blah blah blah. These two did a commercial together. These two were seen together. These two work together. Um, these two work together. Anyways, so uh, some more fun facts. Okay, we're gonna go down to this girl here uh, who's in there. And I'm just gonna point out a couple of words that I don't really wanna say out loud. So one of the people that we're gonna talk about is Timothy Charles Holmesmith. Holmes Seth. He is an awesome guy. You're gonna, I'm gonna give you some information to follow him. And he has top secret information from a lot of places. So I dig on that guy. So he found out about this. Um, Schmuckerberg's sister-in-law who does the whole meat thing for this thing, he reported on it. So another fun fact that I learned about the uh, buses. Yes, so this guy here was known as this into this had relationships with uh, the maternal grandmother of this person he's the true father of this person which I was like big surprise so we already have this through the mother grandmother so they were I don't even know what that means and again re I'm reminding you that they are related to related related so fun fact I did not know that here's another fun fact this guy here is really uh, someone you want to do a lot of research on and you can find pictures of him. I've got the links on my page for this. And now we're going to go into the actual body count because this is where the stories get fucked up, okay? So this is all the people associated to that these people up here. So as you can see, this Vince Foster guy, he was a... This, and he was investigating one of, he was one of the investigators uh, for whatever. Um, yeah, this guy in his defense. Anyways, I'm going to tell you a story about what happened to him. So what he was looking into was uh, a whole bunch of things that had to do with these. And all these people had to do with it. And that guy mysteriously was en ended up dead somewhere. So here's another guy, director of, oh yeah, was writing a book. Uh, this guy, gunshot in top of head in a plane crash. I couldn't figure that one out. This guy gave special security clearance and also died in that. Yeah. This lady here, unknown, found, bruised, naked, locked in her commerce office alone. So, moving on to the next page here. So we've got Dr. Stanley, and he was found mysteriously murdered, or maybe a parent suicide, I can't remember. Anyways, this guy is my, one of my in, most interesting stories. So this guy was doing an investigative reporting on something big. He was deep into this right here. He was found with 12 deep cuts to both to the bone, in both arms like how can you commit suicide from that but apparently it was large accordion of notes from hotel room was gone stolen by killers hmm. here's another guy I had to do with that this guy was investigating the same thing he was an attorney guess what he found out the same corruption he found was found in his toilet so here's another one uh, private investigator blah 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 so you get the picture here basically these mysterious like killings end up like this guy here basically said if you find me dead it won't be a suicide same bro me like same this guy really really upset me I'm gonna focus in on that one here so he was the first officer to arrive at the the bombing and he was found far from his car 11 wounds both arms again deep to the bone two cuts to his gun uh, throat gunshot to the head 
but it was a suicide. What the fuck, right? <sighs> Anyways, an MI6 spy. He was padlock stuffed in a suitcase. Um, this guy, journalist. Uh, another policeman, journalist, uh, an advisor, and this one here, you all want to know. And he was the one who WikiLeaks dumped. So we're going to get to the two big lists of names here. So as you can see, I wrote these all out from the internet. And I also put on Son of Glory Vanderbilt, uh, subject of art in the Podesta house. This, anything that has boxes around it has a lot of information relating to these people and their crimes so no explanation needed for this one because I think she's behind the death of one of my favorite and there's lots of videos and pictures everybody knows about that so you're going down the list here I'm gonna take pictures of all these and put them on my website and I'm gonna go up this way again so you can see here check out these people's IG page um, this is an interesting movie that totally references the drug that they're all after. Um, she's got lots of pictures with this guy, but there's some stories you're going to hear about her right away. Pictures on the internet with this guy. And we're going down here. Look up these people. So, and he has the corona so much on this guy right here. Ugh, makes me sick. So, anyways, most of these people, as you can see, have some sort of correlation. But... We're gonna get to the wiener, uh, not wiener, this guy's list. Well, he's a wiener. Anyways, and all of the names that were uh, on the other one, you can see were duplicated. Like the, So these are the new ones. This girl's been charged. This guy had the uh, laptop. And just look, 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 look here. Look here, well, obviously, look, those are obvious but he has his own plane, so he wouldn't have been on any flight log. But here's one you all wanna know from Canada, right here. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Okay, not on that list. You know why? Guess what? He has his own plane too. Okay, look at all these names. Oh, look at who has coronavirus. Oh yeah, poor Sophie, boo-hoo. Anyways, moving on. So what do these people all have all in common? You can see, okay? So when you go back through all of the families, they all have the same thing going on for them. Think Indiana Jones here. So this is really, I'm not gonna go over the whole laptop thing. Actually, I found out there was five files and first one was whatever, I don't remember. The second one was with a 15 year old and the third one is the one everybody's talking about and it's with an eight year old. So this is really what they're after. You can see here who's in top and who gets their information and what they do here. I really want you to pay attention to this. This is children's stuff here, okay? And it's tracing back through families. So we went over why they want it. Well, look who owns, let's go over to here. There's the patent and everything and guess where it's made? Yes, you saw that. So this is also where these two things were made, and that's also where this made. And guess who sent money there? Guess who owns 40% of that? Guess who owns this together? Guess who's controlling all of our food and whatnot? So some people can't believe it happened, but yes, it can, it did, and it's horrible. So I wanna share some interesting tips. Uh, this many children go missing throughout the year, every year, and it doesn't include this okay so here's some little bit of information that I found out you can all have a good look at that and I only have a couple minutes left so I'm gonna hurry up so we have over 20 countries this is really important for you to keep a look on here because we're gonna get to that in the next video and Planned Parenthood as you know has been shut down and Bill Gates' father pretty much started that bullshit so why is all of this important? Because of this here. This is what we're coming to today, people. I don't want you to panic. We've had the flu, period, end of story. This guy did this, so guess what's happening? We've all seen the website who've been looking, but this is really what it's all about right here. So you're gonna see a lot of things going on, and this is what I want you to do, people. 
love for the children. Please pray for those that have sacrificed their lives and go watch these videos and follow my page for more information. I love you all and light and love to everyone. Have a good day. Enjoy your journey on the truth.